please, oh please calm down. Okay. <sighs> Why? Why are we coming? Oh, man. Man. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> Come down, wait. Mm -hmm. My love, please, I'm not so tired. I'm not in the mood. Please. I have nothing to discuss with you. I'm tired, okay? I know I don't joke with my rest. So please. Why do you keep treating me this way? <sighs> Am I not beautiful enough to be your wife? Love me, you can marry another wife. But please, I just want to ask you and to beg you to please stop hating me. At least for for a bone child. Abigail, you know you had the chance to. Get yourself out of this bondage that we call marriage. But you chose not to because of the beautiful things of life, because you wanted royalty, you wanted luxury, and now we're here. And you suddenly want me to take a second wife. How? No, tell me how. Huh? I want to bring another woman into this place. Where would I find the energy to be sleeping with both of you at the same time? No, no. It is one man or <laughs> one woman. We're going to be here. Eh? You go nowhere, my darling. And please, don't bother me with this mundane subject next time. I want to rest. I want to rest. I'm going to try to rest my head. If you, if, if you try to wake me up, I'm going to make you cry. Like you're going to cry. Do, do you get it? You think you're crying now? Try to wake me up. Thank you very much. Jane, Jane, my darling friend. <laughs> You're welcome once again. What, what happened to your face? Did your husband do this to you? No, come on. Why? My husband did nothing to me. So, you said that you later had your way with your husband. And you said you got a reasonable cut from his wealth. Forget about what I said and tell me why you're taking this from Prince Dozier. For crying out loud, you're dying in silence. And you need to speak up. He is not, remember, he is not. I will never be the last husband the world will ever see. Come on, Jane. You're just being overreactive. My husband did nothing to me. Um, Ruth. You are a personal servant. Is she telling me the truth? Yes, ma'am. She accidentally hit her face on the door. Um, okay, I think that's fine. Can we change the topic now? So tell me, how did the divorce go? Ruth, you may leave. Well, I met this young, vibrant <sighs> lady lawyer. She's fearless and precise. I had not told her about most of my husband and how he's been treating the children and I. To cut the long story short, she made him pay me 55 million naira. What? <laughs> Hold on. And the house we're living in right now. Wow. And now the <laughs> proud, <laughs> proud landlady. And also, Made me have the custody, full, in fact, full custody of the children. Beautiful. Your Highness, I wouldn't have asked for anything less. I am so happy to be free from this evil grip. I knew what I actually went through. I went through hell in that marriage. It's okay. I am happy for you, my friend. <laughs> you know, nothing tastes better than freedom. Yes, 
nothing tastes better than freedom. Mm -hmm. But if you want to see her, I will gladly fix it for you. No, I don't need to see her. I don't need her for anything. I'm happy in my home. Well, if you say so, I'll be taking the children to a few days vacation. Mm. Mm. And then over there, I will think of how to invest my money. Good. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Mm. <laughs> so finally, I am free. Wow. From abusive marriage. I know. What are you doing here? Eh, eh, what are you doing here, Kelvin? Babe, please just hear me out. Just hear me out. I, 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 you what? I, I, I want to Kelvin, what is it you don't understand? I made it clear to you that it is over between us and I don't want to see you anywhere around, my, uh, around me. I still love you. I don't love you again, Kelvin. Don't you miss us? Listen, listen, listen. listen. I know I've messed up. <sighs> yes, I've messed up. But I still love you. Kelvin, I don't love you. I don't miss you. I don't want you back. I don't everything about you. Come on, that's How? not fair. Kelvin, this is my workplace. And you don't bring drama to my workplace. So please, please, I beg you in the name of God, go back to the woman you were with on my birthday. That woman that was so important for you to be with. Rather than me, go back to her and get the hell out of my life. Babe, listen, I know you're getting so upset. You, you, you must be very mad at me, but I am sorry. Listen, Kelvin, I, I am human. Kelvin, I, I just, just don't this part to bloody care to about you. what you feel or what humans feel. Oh. I said, get out of my office. Babe. Kelvin, do you realize this is my work, please? That's fine. No, 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 no. Do you realize this? is a workspace and it's not just me in this place okay. or you want to get me sacked? Okay. No, that's fine. That's fine. Sorry. Kelvin, don't ever bring drama to my workplace again. Get out. Never do anything to hurt you. Just one more time. I promise you. It, it's me. Baby, it's me. It's your Kelvin. I love you and you know it. You, you can feel it inside of your heart. You can feel me in it. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Please. Please. I'm, I'm human and that makes me not be perfect. So just keep me. Please. Please, baby. What? I said, get Have you forgiven me? Have you? Forgiving you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's, what's the meaning of this? You mean you're forgiving this cheat? This 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 man that shattered your heart, that broke your heart into pieces, and you stand here and say you've forgiven him? You know what? I can just I can't just stand and watch this disgusting sight. Jeez, what's the oh my goodness? You know. I love you, and I love you from the depth of my heart. I will always love you. I love you forever. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you so much. I love you, baby. Hey, Kelvin. Hey, Kelvin. Hey, Kelvin. Hey, Kelvin. 
Your father, the king, and your sister have been looking for you. Where have you been? Since when did you begin to ask stupid questions? Prince Chukudozie. It is very clear that you hate me with so much passion. But no matter the level of hatred you have for me. Your ugly attitude towards me will never change what destiny has oh. for us. You have got to be a fool to talk about destiny. Abby girl, your stupidity brought us where we are. You know very well that I don't love you. Yet, you chose to marry me because of your thirst for wealth. And now we are here at each other's throats and you open your gutter to talk about destiny. Let me ask you. Why do you hate me so much? I mean, why did you accept to marry me if you hate me this much? It's got to be the smartest thing you have ever said. Hate! Because Lord have mercy, I despise you. You have brought me nothing other than pain and sorrow. I hate you. Oh, I hate you. I hate you with every strand of hair on my body. I hate you. Now that we have that understanding, stay away from me. Mm. Stay away. I hate you. I hate you. I see. <sighs> I thought I was a fool. Little did I know that you are also a fool. A bigger one at that. Prince Chukutosie, you claim to hate me this much, yet you accepted to marry me. Why didn't you say no instead of unleashing your little wrath on me? You are coming to watch your choice of words. I should mind my choice of words, yet you never fail to open my legs every night to have carnal knowledge of me. Please, Chukudosie, you are nothing but a hypocrite. Call me a hypocrite. One more time. ever in your life ever <sighs> babe You've been looking all worried today. Even while we were making love, you were absent-minded. What is it? I'm fine. Come on, babes. You know you're not fine. You know you just lied to me now. And I can tell when you're lying. So tell me what is it. Mm hmm? You see, I don't like making unnecessary mistakes, just like the one I did today. What happened? Okay, so um, I, I, I gave my little brother that was supposed to travel out of the country the last money in my account only to get a call today from Honorable Ojo that the contract I've been pursuing is in. Really? Yes. Come on, baby, this is good news. I don't understand why this is a problem because what you just said now is good news. 
Yes, yes, you're right. I'm supposed to be happy. Mm -hmm. But I can't. Why? Okay, no. So the deal is, I'm supposed to um, get the sum of 8 million naira to at least water the ground to make the minister sign the contract. So now they cannot approve the sum of 200 million naira for me to start up with the project. I don't understand. What's there for you not to I, The thing is, first off, 8 million naira is too much money. And secondly, are you not supposed to get this project for free? And then use the intended money for its purpose? <clears throat> Babe, why are you talking like you're not from this country? Like, why are you talking like you don't understand the system? Be before you get anything going, you just have to swallow the grounds. Like, you have to give something to get it. If, if it is as easy as you think, everybody else will just get a contract. So the thing is, I need to give them the sum of 8 million. In that way, they can approve the contract. And it's a win. But now, I don't have that sum of money. I don't even know what to do either. Are you serious? <sighs> Babe, it's crazy. Babes, 8 million naira is too much money right now because I don't even have it. So what do you intend to do? And if you don't give them the money, you will lose the project. Automatically, they'll just, they'll just get some other contractors who are able to, you know, pay the bids, and that's it. And we lost everything. And that's what I've been pursuing for a very long time. And now here it is. <sighs> yeah, baby, how about your project? What are you doing concerning that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You, you know, I don't have the resources to carry on. And I've actually done everything I, I can to raise money and still couldn't. Uh, maybe I'll just have to let it go. Just like that. What do you expect me to do? Well, I, I spoke to my boss about it. And... He has agreed to give me the money. I hope it's not late. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. It's, it's not, baby. It's not. Uh, so, did he give you the money? Yes, he did. <laughs> but, baby, please, once you're done with the project, please return the money to me so I can give it back to you. Please. I'm begging you. Come on, babe. You know, as, as soon as I'm done with this project, it's, it's going to be a win-win for us. I mean, as a matter of fact, we should be thinking of how to plan for our marriage. Yes! <laughs> come, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you too. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, baby. And um, I will transfer the money to you before you leave. So you See? can start immediately. That's what I'm talking about. You are the best creature on the planet. Oh, come here, baby. Come on, oh, come on, come on, come on. I love you. I love you so I love you very you much. I love you. I'll take you to the end of the world. Wow. I'm back. I think my husband is seeing another woman out there. You're still thinking, Your Highness. The prince, your husband, is definitely seeing another woman out there. That is why he's treating you the way he's doing. Do you think so? I don't think so. I know so. Listen, my dear, you're my friend. And I won't mislead you in any way. Seriously. Listen. When a man starts having an affair with another woman out there, automatically he will start treating his wife like a piece of rock. Seriously, I don't want to believe my husband is cheating on me. Don't you think there is every possibility that he's not seeing another woman? He is your husband. You can always defend him. I know you love him so much. Let me ask you. If he is not cheating on you, why does he hate you so much? that he pits you at every slightest provocation. 
Why does he keep late nights whenever he goes out? Hmm? Why is it that he does not treat you the way a husband should treat his wife? Have you asked yourself those questions? Honestly, Jane. I'm finding it difficult to believe this. I don't want to think or believe anything like this. I understand what's going on, but I just don't want to believe it. I don't. You have to believe me. Believe it. Listen, my good friend. The earlier you leave this marriage, the better for you. I mean, why do you continue to put your life and the life of your unborn child in danger? I mean, this, this whole thing is getting out of hand. You may lose your life if you don't take your time. Seriously. Bish. Mm, yes. Why is it that you still use protection for me whenever we're making love? Um, that's oh. That's probably because um I don't want us to make mistakes. Mistakes. Babes, what do you mean by mistakes? Wait, hold on. Babes, are you talking about me getting pregnant? You're scared of me getting pregnant? Something, something like that. What do you mean by something like that? What is wrong in me getting pregnant? After all, we're getting married soon. So, what's the difference? Or don't you like children? I love kids, like, I love children. I, I, I want to have as much kids as possible, but not out of wedlock. Like, it would be more reasonable we make babies when we're officially married, not outside of marriage. I mean, why don't we just wait until probably from the night of our honeymoon to the rest of our life and we can make as much babies as we want? This is too little, but I'm sure it will go a long way, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Do I look like a retard to you? Did you 
hear me the first time, Abigail. Where is my money? I don't know anything about your money. Oh, you no, you know about my money. Where is my money? My husband, I just said I don't know anything about your money. And why on earth will you open your eyes? <laughs> Mouth. To repeat after me. Are you out of your mind, Abigail? Have you lost it? Where is my money, you thief? I don't understand you, Prince Dozier. Why would you hit a pregnant woman like that? Allah, stay out of this. She's your wife! Stay out of this, Allah! The cheap thief and prostitute here has been stealing from me for the longest. And I've had just about enough of it. Today I'm going to put that out. And don't ever call this desperado my wife again. For I am very convinced that that thing she's carrying in her stomach does not belong to me. In that my husband! I will take anything from you. But what I will not have is you call me a prostitute or accuse me of infidelity. Don't you ever do it. I see that you have grown a spine and I am going to break it the next time you raise your voice at me I am going to make you regret ever stepping your feet in this palace pretending and masquerading to be my wife because you are not my wife you are my father's wife! I just want my money. I don't want anything from you. I just want my money. You get it? I just said I don't know anything about your money. I have no business with your money. I don't know where you get your money. Gotten to this now, eh? Happy girl. If you know where the money is, kindly give it to him so all of this will just end. Why is all of this? You seriously believe I know something about his money? I know nothing about it. I don't know where he kept his money. Ever since I became his wife, he has never told me that he has money. He has never agreed he has money. What is the meaning of this? Why must he accuse me about his stolen money? What is this? Chokodosie. I think you should go out there and ask your secret lover about your missing money. Abigail, what did I hear you say? Secret lover? Yes. You heard me very loud and clear. He knows what I am talking about. Abigail, you know I love you so much and care for you as my daughter-in-law. You know also that as your father-in-law, I will make sure that you are protected and taken care of. Please, I am begging you in the name of Ahmad Yohar. If you are in the possession of that money, give it to him. I'll make sure that um, I give you more than the same amount. <laughs> Your Majesty, you know me. You know what I can do. I have been married to the prince for eight months. I have never stolen from him before. Why then will I start it now? Dad, 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 please. I, I don't understand why we are here wasting time and having this conversation with this prostitute here. Dozier. Shut up. I'm talking. <laughs> Let her give me my money. It's as simple as that. All right? Else I am going to make her life 
miserable in this palace, Dad. I will do it. What is wrong with you, Dossier? What has come over you? How dare you speak to your wife like that in the presence of our father, the king of this great kingdom? Why are you going overboard with this whole issue? Don't, don't, don't talk to me about speaking in our father's presence. Don't talk to me about him being here while I pour my heart out. For he is the reason I am in this mess in the first place. Father, you have destroyed my life. Chukwetoze. What is the meaning of that which you have said? Why will you assert that I, King Akuma, your own father, has destroyed your life? You destroyed my life when you rejected Neka. The one that I love with all of my heart. And then you forced me to marry this prostitute here. Have you gone bananas? I'm asking you. When did you smooth your feathers that you now talk to me? Is such a careless man? Or has the way you were raised totally erased from your memory? Why are you so selfish? Is the same girl and her father have the reason you are having breath of fresh air in this kingdom as a crown prince? Have you forgotten? It was her father who fought and went all out that I become a king. I know from your seeking hair that history is written on the surface of waters. But I do not forget things like that. My appreciation of this family is golden. And for all the reasons that you have stated, Father, you sacrificed the happiness of your only son. You traded my joy, my love and happiness. One more love from you and you'll be responsible for what will happen to you right now. I do not want to hear anything further about that money again in this palace. I will send you the same amount. But you must apologize to your wife for giving her a vec. If that is final. Nonsense. What an insolence. What callousness. Abigail. I'm going to kill you. To see you. Babe, what's up now? How is Kelvin? I mean, we've not heard from him for a very long time. And I have not heard you speaking to him on phone as usual. I hope all is well. All is well. He went on a business trip. Oh. Hmm. Business trip? What sort of business trip did he go for? Choma, your blood is always hot. He has this project he's doing outside the state. Mm. Mm, a huge one. Nice. But that is not enough reason for him to stop calling you. I mean, you guys talk all the time on phone. What is happening? I haven't even heard you talk to him on phone as usual. Like, you know what I'm talking about now. Girls, if not that I know the two of you, I'll think you're prognosing too much these days. I said it's fine, everything is okay. There is no cause for alarm. I know you're looking out for your girl, but trust me, there's nothing to worry about. Mm -mm. I don't think everything is fine. Yeah. There is something to worry about, yeah. girlfriend. Please, can we talk about something else and leave my relationship, please? Worried. Have you guys forgotten we're supposed to go somewhere? Or don't you want to get your cream again? Girl, I'm tired. I know that I'm ready for it. Please, anyway. let's go. You still haven't answered me. Something is wrong somewhere. Worry less. It's fine. How come you come back here? Go back. Come back. Come back. Sorry, who are you guys? Will you shut that dirty thing you call a mouth? You shameless prostitute! What did Jesus call me? Exactly what you heard. Shameless prostitute that go about snatching people's husbands. Look, young lady. I am not here to banter words with you because I do not have time for that. 
I just want to warn you. Leave my husband alone for me. Leave my husband alone for me. Sorry, sorry. Who is your husband? Will you cut that pretense, you shameless prostitute? Okay, wait. Since you want to really know who her husband is, I will now introduce him. Her husband's name is Prince Chukwu Dozier. And he is married to this pretty woman. And I want you to stay away from him. Leave him alone, husband snatcher. I decided to pay you a peaceful visit today. But the next time you will encounter me, my dear, you will not like me. Stop destroying my marriage. Stay away from my husband. Leave him alone. My next visit will not be this peaceful. Did you get that? Stay away from my husband. You heard her, right? Heard what she said. I got my eyes on you. The next time, you won't be lucky this way. Let's see. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Me, I'm lost. Oh my okay. god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. So sorry. Idiots. Just, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Uh, ma ma I'm so I sorry. I don't want to kill me. It was a mistake, man. It, and it wasn't intentional. I didn't, I didn't even see you. I was actually calling my friend, and then I, 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 this happened. It's a, it's a mistake. Are you, are you, are you okay? Ah, it's a mistake, okay? she said. Are you mad? You are, she killed me and my baby. You tell me it's a mistake. Are you not? Why would you slap her? Okay. Oh, you guys want to beat me, right? You get to play, Mother, why did you slap me? Who are you? Are you mad? Oh, you're telling me it's a mistake. If she killed me or my baby. Are you carrying this story? You don't know who I am. Don't worry. I'm not with you. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? You want to beat me? A public slap. Are you okay? Slap it. Eh? You knocked me down. It's okay. About you, you, you to kill my baby. Oh, don't you worry. I will tell you who I am. Calm down. It's okay. I will tell you who I am now. Just calm down. You want to kill me, right? Don't worry. Calm down. I will show you who I am. Hello? Uh hello. Babe, are you done with the shopping? Um, I'm actually leaving the immigration office. I, just, I, want, I want to go see somebody to discuss something with them. Is, is everything okay? R really? We're like, where, where, where are you guys? Where? At this plaza. Okay. I'll be coming there right now. On my way. Okay? Just calm down. Let's 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 try and settle this amicably. Can you guys stop? Why are you begging her? I don't understand. Can you guys stop? Let's her call whoever she wants to call. Ah, slap you. You're still begging her. I don't understand. Madam, please let's sort this out between us. Don't tell me. I don't want to hear anything from you. You don't. I don't want. You want to kill me, Abi? You don't need to call anybody. No, no, no. You want to just beat me up? Who wants to beat you? Did you realize you just slapped me? Hey, want to beat me? Did you realize you just slapped me? And I'm here begging you to calm down. What's your problem? Don't worry, my husband is coming. Where did I enjoy? Don't worry. Don't take me off. 
Why are you doing this? I don't understand. Don't leave me here. Call your Jesus Christ. Let us wait for who she's calling. Call your husband. Call your Jesus Christ. Don't leave your husband. Can you not pregnant? Call your husband. Call him. You want to beat me? You want to me? You want to beat me? Abi. Don't worry. I'm waiting for my husband. Hey. Ask my baby. Right. Okay. Please. 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 <laughs> That's okay, don't worry. Baby, what's up? This, this, baby, they're beating me up. The three of them. What's it be this? Shana, I they pay me. What's it be this? What's it be this? Shana, I they pay me. Is this your husband? Yes. Baby, is this your husband? Yes, it's my husband. Wait, wait. Is your husband? Yes. Hey! Hey! Gavin! Gavin, you are, you are the husband. Baby, why are you still in this mood? I thought I told you to forget about everything that happened and move on. What did I just hear you say? What did I hear you say? What kind of a human are you? I, I told you to lay low. Lay the fuck low! But what did you do? No! Your gender is so silly that they don't listen! You, you went ahead and started living flamboyantly, spending extravagantly to the extent that you constituted nuisance with the same woman who scammed. The same woman who I scammed. And took her money. I just hope you don't mess things up. I just hope! Bloody Wait, hell! How on earth am I supposed to know she's the woman you scammed? Why you refuse to show me her picture? <laughs> Are you, are you listening to yourself right now? Baby, if Must I show you her picture? Must I show you her picture before you, you hear and listen to my words? You, you, you're not supposed to do any of this. You're supposed to listen to me. And, and now, look at... She's going around looking looking for us with police. I just hope, I just just hope she's, she's not even catching up with us. Baby, I'm sorry now. Oh, please. I'm sorry for what's happened. Oh, do you want to kill me before you know I'm sorry? Listen, listen, listen. When we get to the house, you have 15 minutes. 15 minutes to pack everything that belongs to you in the house. We need to leave to a better, secure place for us. Gosh. No, no, no. But that's the thing with you, 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 this gender of yours. You guys don't listen. Damn. No, 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 don't sorry. Don't just when we get home. Make sure you do what I told you. 15 minutes. Babe, 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 stop, 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 stop. No, give stop. me, give, give me, give, give, give it, give it to me. What is your problem? You cannot continue killing yourself with drink. Why that gold guy is out there enjoying his life? What is wrong with you, babe? Listen, I understand that you're broken. I know, I know how you feel. I understand everything, but come on. There's no what this. Please. I know that you're broken. But the broken needs to leave. In order to amend that which is broken in his or her life. Sis, you need to leave. You cannot kill yourself because of a man. A gold digger for that matter. A useless man. He does not deserve you. He's not worth it. Please, calm down. It's okay. I, I believe that love will find a way to you someday again. Okay? Yes. But it's strange how the people we love always break our hearts. But trust me, you will heal. It's just time. Okay? I don't know. 
I don't know why love does not last. <sighs> Says, please, you need to calm down. Some men are not meant to be in our lives. You need to move on. You got this. You can do this. Please, do not pause your life because of a man. I beg you in God's name. We are here for you. Always. My love, it's okay. See, whenever our heart is broken, it opens up a new door filled with opportunities and new beginnings. Exactly. You are a strong woman. And I promise you, you can pull through this. Yes. You will feel better. It's just a matter of time. And this whole shit will fade away. Trust me. Sis. You do this to yourself, okay? You need to calm down, okay? I believe that love will find a way to you someday again. Okay? You will still meet a man that will cherish you. Yes. That will love you. That will not toy with your heart. Okay? Take it easy, please. Do not harm yourself because of a man. Because of a madman. Madman. A madman for that matter, a gold digger. You are too beautiful, please. You will be fine, okay? You're stronger than this. Please. Men, men were always men. God forbid. Let's have let her just cry it out. She'll be fine. Men. This life has never been fair to me. Oh, this life has never been good to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, this life. Has never treat me well. All I see is I come in the night. I come in the day. Falling in love with someone comes with feelings of joy and happiness. It leads to an adventure that one would never want to return from. But parting ways, on the other hand, is characterized by anger, pain, sadness, and frustration. Why must someone who loves with utmost sincerity experience the latter? Kelvin, why must you pay back my kindness with evil? Thank you. What is it? Why, why are you looking like this? You know what? It's okay. Okay. Whatever it is, we can talk about it later. Okay. Just go into the car, please. Please.
friends warned me. They warned me about him, but I didn't listen. I didn't listen because I love him. I loved him with everything in me. God. Kelvin, I loved you so much. And how did he pay me back? How did he reward me for so much love like that? A love so pure and genuine. He did this to me. He scammed me. Kelvin did not just scam me. He got another woman pregnant. What? Same thing that refused to get me pregnant, saying he was waiting for us to get married before, before we start having children. This is, this is so unfair. This is bad. Uh, Becky, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's, it's okay, please. Look, he's nothing but a shameless idiot. He would never see anything good in his life. Please, look, Becky, you are bigger and better than whatever you think he stole from your life. Okay, because your life is filled with so much, I mean, endless possibilities. So, please, I want you to know that you're a strong woman. Okay, you're a very strong woman. I mean, you, come on, don't let him ruin your life, okay? This is not the end of the whole world. Mm. You have better things ahead of you. Okay, please. Yeah, Timothy, you don't understand. You don't understand. Becky, I do. I understand. I have been there. No, no, no. You've not been here. You've not been in this, this particular state I am right now. Timothy, my heart is shattered. I gave him my heart and he pieces it. He broke it into pieces. He used me. All I ever did wrong was loving this man, was loving him with everything in me, and he used me. It's okay. It's okay. Timothy, it's not okay. It's not okay at all. I have nothing left. I have nothing left. I just I just feel like killing myself. I just feel like ending it. No! Come, come, come on, Becky. No, don't say that. You can kill yourself, Becky. This is not the end of the life. I mean, this is not the end of life for you. Please, you have so much ahead of you, okay? Look, whatever he stole from you, whatever he thinks he stole, you are going to replenish. You are going to recover them all, please. You don't have to think about suicide. I mean, that's not the option. It is not an option and will never be an option. Suicide is for cowards, Becky. To you, I know, you have never ever been a coward. You have always been a strong woman. <laughs> Please, come on. I mean, thank God you weren't even driving in that state. Only God knows what would have happened. Driving? Yes. I... I actually came out with my car. You, you what? I... I, I, I remember I drove out of the house with my car. You, you, mean, you drove out of the house? So, where did you park? Ah. Lissandra. 
The prince will see you in the next 10 minutes. Oh, thank you very much. Where is that person sitting there? She's a visitor. She's waiting for the prince. You can go. Yes, Mr. Steven. No, like I told you, there is nothing I can do now. My hands are tied. I can't, I'm sorry. I need, yes, I need my, I need my boss consent first. So I will ask him, then I will get back to you. Okay, sir. Yes, I'm at the palace. I came to see the prince. All right, thank you very much. I am sorry for you because I will to be acid that I will pour on you and I will watch you die in pain. Do not say I did not warn you. Stop it. Becky, I am sorry about everything you told me, man. I'm sorry. But then I need you to promise me something. I need you to promise me that you never cry again. Okay, not for him, not for anyone else. I mean, no one deserves your tears. No one is worthy of it. Okay? No. I need you to prove to him that you're a strong woman. I need you to prove to him that he is the loser. I mean, he's the big idiot for leaving you for another woman. You need to prove to him that you're raw gold. You're raw gold that needs his betrayal, I mean, his fire of betrayal to shine brighter. Okay? Prove to him that you're unstoppable. I mean, no matter the pain, no matter the hurts he inflicts on you, you are going to be more successful. Okay. 
promise me. Hmm? I promise. Mom. I promise I will never cry again. I promise I will be strong. Now you've made my day. <laughs> Let me see the smile again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So, we're here now so you can go and pick up your car. Timothy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. For... <laughs> it's fine, okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Drive safe, okay? Drive safe. Okay. Thanks. So both of you will have to excuse me now. Yes, my mm. presence. Yes, my presence. But shut up. Get out. On no account should you come looking for me. I will call you when I need you. Okay, my presence. Get out. What's the matter with you? How could you do a thing like that? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I thought she's his mistress. Shenzhou is his new secretary! You are not doing what you're thinking in your head! How would I have known? My husband doesn't tell me anything concerning his personal life. I know he relieved Kate's his secretary of her duty. But I never knew he has gotten a, a new person, Your Majesty. When I heard there's a young lady he now moves around with, I got jealous and angry. You went too far. How could you consent so low? I'm so disappointed in you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. It will never happen again. Never you go that far again, no matter what happens. Yes, Your Majesty. Is life filled with evil minded people? Kelvin, what did I ever do wrong to you that so made you do what you did to me? Kelvin, I loved you with all my heart, even when you had nothing. I was very much willing to go extra miles to ensure that you made it big in life. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. Now you reward me. 
you reward my love and good deeds to you with hatred, heartbreak and sorrow. Kelvin, why? Now my boss is on my neck to return his money. How do I pay back this money? How do I pay it back? Every man in life prays for their children to become greater and better than them in all aspects of life. But mine is totally different. Why does my own father not want me to be greater and better than him? How can a man that enjoyed the level of peace that my father enjoyed in his marriage with my late mother not want me to do same. Why will my father push me into the hell that I find myself right now all in the name of marriage? Is King Akuma truly my biological father? Hey. Hello. I see that you are lost. In your own world. Lost in a world of misery. Life is hard. It's almost impossible to go through life without pain, hurt, and disappointment. But then it hurts the most. When we get hurt by the people who are supposed to love, care, and protect us, you know, it's, it's crazy. I know that you're hurt. But I have the ears to listen. Let me share during your moment of despair. You can talk to me. I want to hear your story. Hmm? Get lost. Mm. Not nice. That's not a very good way to start now. Alright. So we just try again. Okay? My name is Chuku Dozier. But you can call me Dozier. I said get lost. Are you daft for something? Or are you just plain stupid that you don't know what I mean by get lost? Will you take yourself out of this place. This is not good. I see that you're deeply taken by your misery. So I'll let you be.
suggest that he's not taking his calls. Where could he be by this time of the night? <sighs> when did he leave this palace today? He left in the afternoon after having a fight with Abigail. Your Majesty, I am tired. I'm tired of, I'm tired, I'm tired of everything. I'm seriously tired. My husband always looks for every little thing to pick a fight with me. What have I done? Okay, fine. What caused to this fight, according to him, was because I didn't lay the bed well. Everything I do, he complains. He nags and complains about every little thing. I'm tired. You mean Chuku Doze left this palace after fighting you and has not returned to the palace by this time of the night? Yes, Your Majesty. Did he go out with any of his guards? No, Your Majesty. He asked them to stay back. Yes. You um, look worried. I've been trying to call Becky's line and she's not picking. Becky left this house since afternoon. And she's not yet back. I, I don't know. This is all like her. <laughs> Maybe she's somewhere sulking over her stupidity. You know? She thinks everybody will be like her. But that will never happen. Never. Maria. Maria, are you not even worried about her? Do you know if something has happened to so this is past 10 p.m. and Becky is not back? You know she doesn't behave like and this. And why should I be worried over an adult? No, tell me. Why? Listen to me, Choma. Becky is an adult. She's matured enough to take care of herself. I beg you. Now me carry her come this city. Now me carry her come this town. See busy trouble. Please. She's capable enough to take care of herself. So whenever she's done, whatever she's doing, wherever she is, let her return back home. Don't disturb me. As you can see, I'm just coming back from work. Let me go and freshen up. I, I don't have time for. I can't believe you. I don't have you. time for all this rubbish. I should be worried over over over, over a grown adult. Becky, answer your phone. Ha! Huh. So this.
move. Elsa, break your head. Move. Oh, 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 oh. What is this life turning into? My sin is Come. What is this life turning into? Gradualities are falling apart. It breaks my heart. It holds me a lot. It breaks my heart. I am dying inside of me. I am dying in silence. Who will help me? Who It's it. Uh, ah! What, what, what happened to her? So hard, the bar. Oh my goodness. Wait, Maria! She had uh, a little too much to drink this so oh morning. I drove her back in her car. Oh my goodness. That's okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. She's been throwing up on her way here, though. So, yes, but I, I don't think it's anything. So oh my God. God. Maria, please come! Just her, come on. Becky! I don't even know what to do. Moses. What, what happened to her? He said she had a lot to drink. Please, let's take her upstairs. Uh, my name is um, Dozier. Okay. And yes, I, uh, I'll be back again tomorrow to see how she's No, 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 just, just, just hold on. Wait, let's... It's okay. I have to go get my car where I left it. Because oh. I had to bring her in her own car. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. God bless God you. Bless you were a good Thank man. You. Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you. It's Thank all right. I have to go. Well, I Thank appreciate it. You're welcome. Good night. Thank you. Please, let's take her upstairs. I can't even carry out. Oh my god. Becky! Oh. 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 I ask again, where did you sleep last night? I spent the night at a hotel. A hotel? Who authorized you to do so? Have I not warned you never to sleep outside this palace without my permission? <sighs> to be honest with you, Dad, I don't like how you treat me. I'm an adult now, Dad. You talk to me as if I'm a child. Like I'm some little boy. I'm an adult. I'm a full grown man. I know what's good for me and what's not good for me. I know what to do and what not to do, Dad. I know the right thing to do. You've got to trust me. Son, you're my little child. My son. The heir apparent of this throne of our forefathers. And that simply means that you are supposed to live by example and not as it pleases you. What do you think the people of this great kingdom will make of you? The people you are supposed to rule in the future as a king. You want them to see you as a king who spends his vital time with a band of prostitutes and temps. Is that what you want to make 
of yourself. Father, do you ever think of me? Do you ever think of my happiness? Why is it that you're constantly doing everything to ensure that I become the next king of this kingdom, but you never think of my happiness? I am made to understand that every parent would give everything to ensure that their child is happy. But the reverse is the situation with us, Dad. And so I ask, are you truly my father? Chidozi, how dare you? What has come over you? How dare you ask father such a question? Oh lady, there comes a point in every man's life when he must seek answers to things affecting him, the things that surround him. Allow me to decipher the mysteries surrounding my birth and my paternity. I ask again, my king, are you truly my father? For I cannot be your child, yet you subject me to living like a slave in a palace where I am supposed to live as a prince, an heir to the throne that you sit on, father. Far be it that I take another man's blood as my own. Truth being told, sometimes you do not behave as my child. And it leaves me to wonder if you are still the paladin of this throne. Father, even Chukwoki Kabiyama sees my heart and he knows that I would love to be king and rule my people after your long gone. But not as your puppet, but as a man, a full grown man who has the liberty to make decisions, choices for himself. But you see, that freedom to choose is what you have constantly denied me, and it makes me sick. Can't you just come down from your high horse and accept for once that what you did was absolutely wrong and stop looking for a way to justify your actions? I am wrong because I have chosen happiness over hell and burden that your father has placed on my head. I made it very clear to you, father, that my happiness died the day you forced me to marry that thing sitting there. Dozi, Dozi, will you stop it? What has come over you, I ask again? You've got a beautiful woman with the biggest and the largest heart ever. And that is what every man out there prays for. In your case, Dozie, you have it. Yet you don't even appreciate it. So I ask you, why do you hate your wife with so much passion? Why, Chidozie? Son, you must go up there and apologize to your wife willy-nilly. Father, what are you going to stop manipulating me? Becky, <laughs> are you saying you don't remember how you got back home last night? I don't remember a thing. <laughs> I mean, the last thing I remember was me drinking at the bar and then at some point I felt I was getting drunk or tipsy. I decided to go home and that was it. Next thing I am waking up in my room. I don't even know how I got here. Can someone help me with that information? Okay. How did I get back home? Well, a perfect gentleman brought you back home. Girl, you, you were stinking of alcohol. You even messed the whole house up. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> like, you won't kill yourself. Girl, come on. You know my situation. Mm. <sighs> Speaking of the perfect gentleman, who, who is the guy? Did you get his name or something? 
I mean, I need to say thank you to the young man because he could have taken advantage of me at that state. Mm. Yes, babes. Some other person would have robbed me or raped me or do something, you know, at that vulnerable state. Anybody could have done anything to me. But that man decided to be a good Samaritan and brought me back home. So I need to say yes. thank you to him. Mm, so you knew all these things. And she took alcohol. And you went to, you went to kill yourself with alcohol. Please don't judge me. You know my situation. We said his name is Dozier. Dozier. With the way he sounded last night, it was as if he already told you his name. And you would remember when we would tell you. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I did it. You know I go to work with it. I don't know now. I'm not the I'm not the woman that's sending the name. Well, I told you. I don't understand. I don't want to I don't Hi, Timothy. Hi. Welcome. What are you doing here? Hi. Hi, Maria. Hi, Guinea. Didn't you hear what she just said? Answer the question. What are you doing here? You know, um, Today is Valentine's Day and uh, tomorrow it's your birthday. So, so I, I I thought it wise to make a very beautiful portrait of you, so. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. AJ Love. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Beautiful yeah. portrait of me, guys. <laughs> Beautiful portrait. Wow. <laughs> I look so I look so oh. beautiful. Oh my god. Beautiful, beautiful portrait of me. It's oh. yours. So I will fire you. What is your problem, Timothy? Did I believe a portrait? Did I believe a portrait? Did I beg you? What is your problem? Why can't you just leave me alone? Oh my goodness. All these broke ass niggas. Eh? Why are you guys so stubborn? What is your problem? I have told you that I'm not interested. Why are you always? Why are you following me around? What is you? What, what is it? Hey, what did you do that for? He gave you a gift. If you don't like it, you just reject it. Other than, did, did you see you just injured him? What is my business? Did you see that he's bleeding? That serves him right. Next time, he will know his level. He will know his what and know that hey, he can't even date a happening chick like Maria. What is so rich for? Hey, Paul, just, 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 okay. just take it. Yeah? You need a fair face. What is it? I'm not interested. Is it by force? Is it by force? Mm. Better take your tacky self out of this place this minute. Oh yeah, start going. Oh, no. This is wrong. This is all shades of wrong. Mm. What kind of nonsense is this? Did you see the wood you just gave this guy now? Do I look like I care? Do I look like I care? You can die for all I care. Yes, go cool and die. Where is your conscience? No, really, Shoma, where is your conscience? I have told you Call that I'm not interested. Go eh? here. Go Take him with. What do you mean? Go where? Do you expect him to go home like this? Of course not. Nah. He has to go like that. Why, no, Shoma? You want to take him to where? Where? I am taking him inside. Into my room to treat him. Oh, you no, no, no way. No. You won't try that rubbish. Are you okay? You will not try it. You will Would not. You? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on a minute. Let me remind you to something you're forgetting. I have equal rights like any of you in this house. So when I say I'm taking him into my room to treat his wound, I am taking him inside there. And I said you're not taking him anywhere. We have only one rule in this house. You can bring in anybody you want, but that person will not spend the night. He is not spending the night. I'm just going to treat his wound inside my room. Well, stop me. Let's go. See, I, 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 I don't want to fight you. I, I, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you. Why are you up your man? I don't want to fight you. Calm down. This wound that you gave to him now is, 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 is giving me joy. I like this wound that you gave him. It will teach him a lesson. It's your audacity for me. Ah. He brought me a portrait. Hey, yeah. uh, you know today, today is Valentine's Day and tomorrow is your birthday. Can you this imagine? Like this look at, look at, look at, look, look at the cheap portrait. Just, just, ah. just look at, just, just look at. Just look at the cheap. Oh ah, God, this, this guy is too cheap and broke for my life.
know that all that cry. I can't help you. You know. But I can tell you what to do. Why don't you just die and get yourself out of this misery that greed put you in? <laughs> you made my father. You know what you did? What child? I'm asking you. What child? Hmm? Abigail. Anyway, you know what you're going to do? You are going to go tell my father that, uh, that we're good. Yeah. Everything you heard. Everything you suspect, everything you told him is sorted. Because I've got to go out. I need to go out. I'm sorry, you're going to do it. Oh, no, you're going to do it. Slow down now, you're going to do it. What, you want me in this house with you? Look at you. You're like this. What, imagine I'm in this house with you. 24 hours round the clock. God, I'm going to kill you. Right? So you're going to go out. Nice and clean. Hey, daddy. My husband. Well, my husband and I. Are fine. Hmm? You're going to do it. Right? I won't do it. What? What did you say? <laughs> come to me, baby. Come, come, come. <laughs> come, come on. Leave me alone. Come now. Why are you like? <laughs> Stop shouting. If they hear you, I will kill you. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. They're going to hear you. 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 Stop shouting. They're going to hear you. 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 To hear you, stop shouting. I need us to have it. I need us to have a conversation. What did you say? What did you say? Are you going to tell my father we're good? You You're going to tell my father we're good. I'm going to, I'm going to kill you. Are you going to tell my father we're good? Huh? Timothy, if you would take my advice, I would say you should stop coming. Stop coming here because this is no longer love. This is becoming 
too violent and it's not safe for either of you. I know you love Maria. I can tell you deeply feel for her and you want her in your life. But trust me, she does not want you. I'm, I'm, I'm saying this to you as a friend. Trust, just, just move on with your life. Go out there, you'll meet someone, you'll meet your perfect match. Please. I have already taken my decisions. She's not worth it. I mean, not after what she did. Exactly. And I was thinking she could someday reason with me. But now I know that we're not meant to be together. The best I could do is just let her go and focus on my life. Simple. And trust me, you'll meet someone who will cherish you. Okay? Um, one more thing. Can I ask you for a favor? Please, I know you would want to take legal actions against what was done to you now. But please, I'm begging you for my sake, don't. Don't. You might want to report to the police or something, but I'm just begging you. Let, let's just let this whole thing die down. Becky. Yes? The truth is, in as much as I, I wanted to take this up, I wanted her to feel the same pain that I'm feeling right now. Please. But because of you, I will let it go. Thank you. You're different. I mean, you're just different. Better than all of them put nah, together. Nah, come on. Timothy, we're all good people. Stop. Becky, I know what I'm saying. You are. Thank you. I should be the one thanking you. <laughs> Thank you for Go this coming on. through for me. <laughs> Thank you for this. Come on. <laughs> Were you expecting me to let you go home like that? <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't make me laugh. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Can I ask you for something? Of course, go ahead. What is it? Can I take a photograph of you? Like, right now? Yes, like now. <laughs> First, I am not properly dressed. Okay, okay, okay. If you're not comfortable the way you're dressed, if you don't mind, you can send me one through WhatsApp. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay, fine. I'll send you one. Though I don't know why you want my picture, but I'll send it to you. Thank if you. that's a way to... Bribe you so you will not take <laughs> off this don't case. Please make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm taking it easy. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'll send it to you. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. It's fine. No problem. I I'll give you a call. Hello. Hi. Hi. You remember me? Uh, Dozy, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's him. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, what, what happened? You think come back to check on her like you promised? Yes, I'm sorry for my disappearance. I had to go on an impromptu business trip, but I'm here now. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, she told me about how you brought me back home the other day. Yes. And I've been looking forward to saying thank you to you. Like she said, she said you were supposed to come. Thank you for bringing me back home 
the other night, considering how how it went down before the incident that happened happened. Yes, yes. But all the same, thank you. And um, I'm also sorry for the way I spoke to you because I know I was rude. <laughs> I'm grateful. You're welcome. I, I'm actually here to see how you're faring. And I'm glad to see that you're doing just fine. At I'm least you're right. smiling today. <laughs> huh? I'm okay. I'm okay. That's good. Um, ladies, if I won't be asking for too much, can we at least just, you know, go somewhere, sit down, chit chat, you know, we get more acquainted, you know. Nothing too heavy, nothing too serious, I promise. You know. Um Babe, just say yes and stop uh, moping like an alien. I was about to say I have work to do, but it's okay. Let me go and change it to something appropriate so we can go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Come inside. Oh, okay. We're not going yeah. to leave you here. Come <laughs> in, come in. After you. Thank you. <laughs> I see you're preparing to go on your date. <laughs> yes, I'm almost ready. <sighs> okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My love, it is crystal. The love is hovering around you right now. And judging from your recent countenance, it is genuine love. But hugging a man that you don't know too well as perfect is like waiting for a sheep at the airport. Your point exactly. Take each step with wisdom. Watch out for portals. Because I swear, if this nigga Hurts you or even thinks of hurting you, I will kill him <laughs> and I will do it silently. I'm not joking. <laughs> Voltron, defender of the universe. <laughs> Baby, you know me now. You, you know what I can do. Um, gee, thank you so much because I know you're looking out for me. And that's why I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll have it in mind. Everything you've said, I have it in mind. Please do. Mm. And take care of yourself. I will. Come on. You know I'm a very good judge of character. Okay. Sometimes though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. darling, I, I have to leave now. See you later, okay? All right. Just... I, I'm coming back home. I'm not sleeping at this oh, place. Okay. First time, date. Do your thing. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do. I'll see you when you're back. No problem. How do I look? Come back. Oh, baby, you know as usual, you look beautiful. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> you okay. I want to start by saying that I. I'm blown away by your beauty tonight. I am thankful for this night. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for. Thank you for agreeing to come sit down with me. I might not have known you for a long time, but I can tell you this. It might sound cliche, but you light up my world, Becky. You flatter me too much. Oh, all the same, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. 
You know what I see when I look at you? What? I see a woman who will suffer nothing and exploring love to its fullest. With you, I know that I can do magic. With you, I know that I can love like I have never loved before. You're right. But this woman has been through a lot and um, she has somehow built a wall. I wonder if you can bring those walls down. This woman has been through hell and back. But I am going to take her to heaven and make her happy. I'll be your rock. I'll be your shield. I'll stand by you every step of the way, Becky. I'll never hurt you. I think that you have cried too much. And it's time for you to laugh a lot too. Eh? Do you mean everything you just said now? Yes, I do. And I mean even more that I will eventually say. Because if you are now the future's pregnant, I'm crazy about you. I don't know what you've done to me. I try so hard to stop, but I can't. You don't have to. You have just this life to live. Let's just continue to live in the moment. You never know what tomorrow will bring. Tomorrow is for those who take their chances. My goodness. You could make ten men fall in love all at once. <laughs> <laughs> Who is she? Who is the lady you are seeing? I ask you, who is she? And what gives you the right to ask me that? Who are you? My mother. Abigail, what is wrong with you? Huh? What's this I see on your shoulder? Why are you like this? What's wrong with you? Listen, I'm tired. Respect yourself. Hmm? Stop it. I am your wife and I have every right to ask you, who is the lady you are seeing? Uh, listen to me. I've had a very long day. You have no rights whatsoever to ask us questions. And you're not even my wife. You know what you are. You're an opportunist that my father imposed on me. Leave me alone. Please. I'm tired. I go out, I hustle very hard, and I come back here to rest. The days I come back, you take it. The days you don't see me here, you leave with it. Do you get it? Please, excuse me. Don't understand. What is even your problem? I don't go out as a problem. I go, come back here. I'm talking. What the fuck's wrong with you? Ah, did, you, did you just walk out on me? Do you want to hit me again? Do you want to die?
Good afternoon. What happened? I've been knocking. I've been here for a while. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry. I was in the kitchen and I'm home alone. Well, you're in the kitchen. Are you cooking? Yes, I'm cooking. What are you cooking? You no, tell ask, me. Why are you asking? As if you know how to cook. What? I, I'm a, uh, ask questions. I'm a chef. I, I tell you. Oh, really? Yeah, but I, I got you a drink. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you like the drink? I love it. Thank you. <laughs> but seriously, what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you cooking? Uh, I'm making a nice local meal. I'd like to see. I, I, I want to help out. No. I can cook. No. Don't no, judge you me. You don't look it. You don't look like someone. Where's your kitchen? Cook. Show me to you. I, what you, what I, I'm, you go, I'm going, going to blow to my, your mind. Hold on, hold on. What are you going to my kitchen to do? What you say you're cooking? I don't need your you, help. Le, you need my help. Let's see. <laughs> are you serious right now? Hold on, hold on. I want to make food. I want to, I want to cook for you. You want to cook for me? Yes, I want to cook. I'm serious. Which way to your kitchen? I'm serious. Which way? <laughs> you really want to cook? I want to cook. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even know how to cook? What? I'm a wonderful chef. I'm hmm. telling you, just point the way to the kitchen and you see me do wonders. Really? Yes. Ah, uh, first off, you have to be a chef. I am a chef. Ask questions. <laughs> yes. Oh, show me. Oh, show me the please way. come back. I'm, I'm serious. I am done cooking. Actually, I I'm almost done cooking. You're almost done. Then I can just help no, you. No, no. Okay, fine. I'm done. I'm done. Let me let me dish out the food so you can eat. Okay. Ah. Uh, what? Me, what is it? Nothing. I let me go get the food. What? What? I didn't say anything. I just said. You, let said, me, you were trying to say something. No, let me get you food. Are you sure? I need to get you. Um, food so what? you can eat. You need to eat. Mm -hmm. I might as well start with you. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let me start with you. Mm -hmm. Let me just dish off food so you can eat stuff. Mm -hmm. Let me start with you. That's so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look troubled. What is it? You have not been yourself lately. I know something is bothering you. But you can talk to me about it. After my last relationship, after everything I went through in it, I vowed never to let any man make me feel that way again. I vowed not to let any man into my life. But with you, with you, I find it very difficult to breathe. To say you make me lose my breath. When I'm with you, I... I can't... What's your fear? I don't want you to break my heart again. I don't. Loving you is the biggest decision that I have made in a very long time. And finding you is my biggest discovery in life. Becky, I love you with the whole of me. I am going to keep loving you until death. Until death. Do a spot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for loving me the way you do. And I promise you today, I am not going to break your heart. I promise.
she killed her because she stood up for herself. And now they are trying to hide it. Prince Dozier did this to me because I confronted him about it. If what you just said right now is the truth, that means you are not safe over there. You are no longer safe. The prince can actually kill you and nothing will be said or done about it. Believe me, you are no longer safe there. And that's why I am scared. Jane, please, I want out. I don't want this marriage anymore. I want to save myself and save this child. I can't afford to have my child in that cost home called the palace. It's okay. It's okay. Just put yourself together. Hmm? You need to get a divorce. That's all you need. Getting a divorce is the best thing. We have to see Barrister Becky. She did it for me. I'm very, very sure that she will do it for you too. Okay. okay. But please, can we... Can we go and see her now? Of course. Thank you. You know, I... I hate it when clients come to me for divorce. Because I, for one, is someone who believes so much in marriage and um, I believe marriage should be a forever thing. That if there are other ways to go around this thing other than divorce, I would have opted for it, you know, but nevertheless, it's okay. Unfortunately. Divorce is the only thing that can help a woman stay alive. And that of her kids. Yes, True. it is. True. That I would always say, leave to leave. So, where do we start? Good. Um, first, I think you should start by telling me your story. Everything. Listen, Mrs. Abigail, just like I told your friend here when she came to me, I'd rather you tell me the ugly truth than I hear it in court. So you should tell me everything that happened, every single details of everything, where you went wrong, where he went wrong, everything. So I'll be prepared, okay? And also you tell me everything about your husband, his name, what he does, everything. Literally everything I need to know. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. You know what? You can start. The name of my husband is Prince Chuku Dozier, but his friends call him Prince Dozier. Uh, when you mean prince, uh, as in a royal prince? Yes. He's the heir apparent to the throne of anyone in kingdom. I see. Um, so we are. Uh, Talking about a royal matter here, right? Yes. I'm listening. He's the managing director of Perfect Wheels Company. I love my husband. I love my husband so much. You know, when I first met my husband, I... I thought I had met my soulmate. Even after everything he did to me, divorce was the last thing on my mind. Here is a picture of my husband and I. Do you see how good we look together? You know, men, men will push you to a point of no return. And then you'll be stuck looking for an escape route. Um, Mrs. Abigail, this is your husband. That's my husband. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, um, ladies, do you mind giving me a minute? I'll be back. Okay? It's okay. Take your time. No problem. Um, if you need anything, just let me know so I can tell my secretary. No, to get no, you're fine. You're good. Yes. Thank you. I'll be back. Thank you. What lies are you going to tell this one now that is calling you? It is not a man that is calling me. It's Becky. Oh. Hello, babe. Who's the last speaker? What is it? Why are you calling me by this time? She is here. <laughs> I don't understand you. Who is who is there? Dozier's wife is here. Dozier's wife? What do you mean to this wife? Is Dozier married? <sighs> He's been lying to me all this while. He is not whom he said he is. This guy is a prince. He's the heir to the throne of Enwani. Is he lying? Babe, just, just calm down, eh? We, we can sort this thing out together, okay? First of all, are you sure this woman is actually telling the truth? Are you sure she's Dozier's wife? What if it's some jealous girlfriend that is trying to, you know, take you off your happiness? Yes. Babe, are you sure they're not trying to play a prank on you or something? Because I can't believe Dozier is married. Talk more of being royalty. That's true. Babe, please, just get a hold of yourself, okay? Chill. And, you know, listen to this woman. Let's hear what she has to say. And maybe whenever you see Doji, he can confirm whether what she said is the truth or not. Ah, uh, okay. 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 Okay, um... I'll call you later. I'll call you later. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. It's all right. Yeah. Take care, okay? Yeah. Ah! <gasps> <gasps> hey! Hey! <laughs> Every day, new drama. <laughs> no, no Dozier can't be married. Bro, Yao Ti. This is too much for a day. <sighs> I, I am so sorry, ladies. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I had to take care of something. It's okay. Please, uh, how are we going to do it? I mean, my friend married this man because tradition demanded it. And since then, she's given her all for the marriage to work. Yet, the more she keeps trying, the man keeps making her life miserable. Miserable? Yes. How? Um, Mrs. Abigail. Why exactly do you want to divorce your husband? He is an abuser, a cheat, and a liar. I know he's cheating on me with a mysterious woman. I know that. <clears throat> um, why would you say such a thing? So, has he done it before? Do you have proof to this allegation? Is this not enough proof? He did this to me this morning. He has been doing this. But I say to myself that I can take it. But what I will not take is him cheating on me with another woman. I will not take it.
He did this to me this morning. He has been doing this. But I say to myself that I can take it. But what I will not take is him cheating on me with another woman. I will not take it. All I see is a gun in the night A gun in the day Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow Mr. Chuku Dozier, do you take this woman, Miss Abigail, to be your lawfully wedded wife, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, in poverty and in riches, till death do you part? Yes, I do. <clears throat> Miss Abigail, do you take this man, Mr. Chuku Dozier, to be your lawfully wedded husband, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, in poverty and in riches, till death do you part? Yes, I do. Rings. Heavenly Father, may you bless these rings. May it be the symbol of the love shared between these two and the vows that they have taken here before in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Your Majesty, you have been a father figure to me since I came into this palace. You have defended me and protected me in every way possible. And that I am grateful for. But I can't continue going. I am tired and I want out. I don't understand. What do you mean by you are tired and you want out? I want a divorce. This union has been very toxic for me and I can't continue. I want out your majesty. Oh no, you can't do that. Have you considered the child you are carrying? You mm -hmm. want the child to grow without a father figure? Oh no, a big girl. You can't punish the little child, you know, making the child to live without a father. The child will come to be when there is a mother to give her life. I have made up my mind, Your Majesty. Oh. The royal family will hear from my lawyer soon. Oh, Abigail. I beg to take my leave, Your Majesty. Abigail. Over the phone. Is everything okay? Prince, don't see. Or should I say, Your Royal Highness, Prince Chuku Dozi? Why were you planning 
to tell me you're married. When exactly were you planning to tell me you are royalty? <sighs> I'm sorry, but how did you get this information? <sighs> You're not even denying it. He's not even denying it. See, how could you? When I met you, I thought you were different. I, I thought I met a good man. But I didn't know you are worse than them all. Now you are. I'm not a bad person. <sighs> Listen, Becky, I, I did not tell you because I did not want to lose you. You're my joy, you're my happiness, and I, and I thought that if if, if, I, if I told you everything about me, I'll, I'd lose you. I'm sorry. What exactly do you take me for? No, does you what? What do you take me for? You don't want to lose me. You want to keep me, keep me as what? What exactly? What exactly do you want to give me as your heart? No. No, 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 you're psychic! No. What? What? Look. Is that how you see me? No, that's not how I see you, Becky. You gotta listen to me, alright? I am not happily married. Oh, please. Listen, that marriage is a sham. That marriage is a marriage of convenience for my father and the throne. Alright, please, I need you to believe me. Before I met you, my life has been a life of misery and untold sorrow. But in you, I have found happiness. In you, I found joy. After a very... Oh. Guy! Becky, believe me. If you leave, Becky, if you leave, I will not be able to take it. Please don't leave me. Please, 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 stop! Stop! I'm sorry. Okay, fine. You think this justifies the fact that you are also an abusive husband? No. No, 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 no. Explain that to me. Tell me another story. Tell me another cock and bull story. No. I mean, I'm, I'm down. I think Just it's, slow down, it's Becky. As a fool. Becky, slow down. I don't have sense. Becky, slow down. I'm Listen. intelligent to you, right? You are intelligent, but you gotta listen to me, all right? I may be married, but I'm not an abusive man. No. What have I done? What's what's my offense? I I, I I had to go out there to find happiness and I found you. You are my happiness. Please. Don't leave me. Please. 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 Does he please? Just stop. Just stop. Stop with these stories. Cosie, Cosie, please leave. I need to think. We can sort this out. Cosie, please. We, we, we can please. talk about we can talk about this. Please. Please. All is not lost. As much as you. You don't like me. I'm sure you don't want me. Does it go? I need to think. I need to call your wife. What? I have a job to do. I'll be defending her. And guess what? I am excellent at my job. To say if I defend her. You will lose more than you ever hoped. Please, get out. Defend me. Defend me. Let me be your client. <laughs> Please, let me be your client. I don't want to lose everything that I've worked on. I don't have a print upside with this woman. If I lose this case, I am going to lose everything, including the throne. I have a long list of people who do not believe that I can make it as the next king. Now they're going to have an excuse. Now they're going to 
say that I cannot even hold a family together, yet I want to rule over them as king. Please, 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 me losing will destroy my ambition as, as king. I, 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 you, you know it. I'm begging you, please, don't defend her. Please, stand with me on this. Becky, I love you. I would give you the best of me. You don't know my story. Please. You don't get it. To see, you do not get it. I can't defend you. Why? I need to know why. She came to me first. Even if I want to defend you, to see. See yourself out. Um, Mrs. Abigail, I have reviewed your case file. And um, I will recommend another lawyer to you, a good one, to handle it from our firm here. No, I want you. Mrs. Abigail, the lawyer I am talking about is a very good divorce lawyer. Actually, he has handled hundreds of cases successfully. No. Jane said you are the best. You did not just handle her case successfully. You also served as a psychologist to her. Please, I need to gain something that will last me enough to take care of my child. Please, save me and save my child. What happened to you? Look at me, Miss Abigail. What happened to you? Did your husband do this to you? Yes, he did. I have an evidence. Is that not enough for me to want out? It is. You know what? I will draft out a divorce paper. But you will have to come back tomorrow and collect it. So he can sign it. Don't worry. If he doesn't sign it, then I will have to officially sue him. Thank you. Thank you so much. You don't need to thank me. That man belongs to the prison. He's a monster. He needs to be locked up forever. Um. First thing first, you have my number, right? Yes, I do. Please, send me all the evidence you have. Every evidence you have, send it to my phone. As a matter okay. of fact, do it right now. Because I need to have it. Have you seen a doctor? Not yet. You need to see a doctor, Mrs. Abigail. You need to get yourself checked out. Do you understand? Okay, see. Um, do you have a psychologist? No, I don't. 
You need one. This is how we go. You need one. I'm, I'm sorry for what happened to you. I'm so Thank sorry. You. Going forward, you have to be very careful. I'll handle the case. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Just take good care of yourself while we're at it, okay? So, um, make sure you come tomorrow to pick up the papers, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. You yes. too. just made the mistake of judging a book by its cover. Indeed, the demon you know is better than the angel you don't know. To see it's, it's just so hard to believe that you are a monster. You've been deceiving me all this while. But wait and see what I will do to you. Just wait and see. Stand here and deny the fact that you're a living monster. Despite your wife's condition, you have the mind to, to lay your hands on her. It is not the same thing. I did not beat her. <sighs> Come on, lies. Lies! This guy, you can lie. You are a big liar. I saw it. I saw everything. What is wrong with you? <sighs> hold on. But yeah, hold on. Because this is getting too much. What? Do you take me for? No, 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 no. I need to understand why you keep telling me these lies all the time. Like, you feed me with so much lies. You see me as a fool, right? Huh? You know what, Dozie? You are the bigger fool. Hmm? In fact, you're the biggest fool ever. So think you can do whatever you like and get away with it shamelessly. Becky, that's enough. That makes you a fool. That, 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 that's enough. Please, 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 you will not insult me. That's one of the things that I hate most in my life. You will not insult me. Oh, really? You will not insult me. Yes, you will not insult me. Oh. Please, please, let's have a conversation, but don't insult me. Let's have a conversation. Yes. Really? You hate insult, right? But you will not lose your nits with attitude. Are you out of your mind? Get up! If you ever in your life insult me again, I will do to you things that your memory will not be able to capture. Don't you ever, ever. Just slap me. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Jesus. Listen, it was, it was. Oh, Jesus. That was totally out of character. I've never done that before. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've never done that before, right? I have never. You have never. Now let me tell you what you've never experienced. This, Dossier, this is the worst mistake you will ever make in your life. Because I will show you. Ha! Ah, Dossier, you slapped me. I'm sorry. Do I look like your wife? Calm down. No, Dossier, do I look? Becky, please, I'm sorry. Dossier, you know what? Forgive me. Get out. Please, I need you to forgive me. Those here? Leave my house now! Forgive me. What is going on? What is Does he leave my house? Please. I said get out! Please, please forgive me. Please. What? Uh, she what? said you should get out. Uh, and you are still talking. Oh yeah! Leave! Joma, calm down now. You don't even know what happened. This, 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 this thing. This nitwit slapped me. Eh? He raised his evil hands on me. Jesus Christ. Eh? 
Will you get out? You do not! Or the famous! I said get out! Just leave! I said you know you don't like me, so I go on my shoe! Oh God, see, I'm a soft girl, I don't want to push you. Oh God, they go! Leave this minute! Oh, I don't want to push you! Oh God, they go! Oh yeah, 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 yeah! They go! Get out now! What if you don't come on my shoe? Go now! You know go like that if I come on my shoe, they move! Go, go, go! I won't come on my shoe! I won't come on my shoe! Push you, just go! Hold on! Does he listen to me? This is the worst thing you've ever done in your life. You see your wife? I will defend her and I will nail you to see it. I will make sure you pay for everything you've done to that woman. That's enough. Just, just, just leave it. I, I said I won't come on my shoe. They go now. Go now. Well, I don't want to. Oh, they go. I'm, I'm, I'm a gentle girl, please. I don't want to. You, you be gentle. My, 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 my own, they catch Let me. Him they go. go. Can you? Ah. Jesus. I can't believe this. Leave. <sighs> Prince You have no interest of others at all at all. All that matters to you is what you get. Choko dozier. Here is the document. Sign it. Or meet me in court. Put your house in order. Put your house in order. What is it? Your Highness, I don't have all the time to explain things. But I know that you are innocent of all the allegations leveled against you. Many things have been happening in this palace. Chica wouldn't have died. Just that she couldn't hold on for so long. Are you trying to say you know something about Chica's death? Your Highness, the videos in this phone will satisfy your curiosity. I have been secretly taking videos of key events happening in this palace. The ones I believe will give you justice one day. And that one day, I believe, must come. Your Highness, seeing you hand him those documents emboldened me. Your Highness, anytime you're leaving this palace, please take me with you. I'm still very scared. Abigail, is there nothing you can do to change your mind from this plan of divorcing your husband? Yes, Your Majesty, there is nothing I can do. My life is more important. Oh, there is something you can do. Abigail, what nonsense are you talking about? Oh, you want me to sign this nonsense? Eh? Ha <laughs> ha! Abigail, there has to be something you can do. What nonsense are you talking about? Oh, you think I'm going to sign this nonsense? Do you actually think that I am going to sign this nonsense? Put my signature on this thing. Ha! Abigail, you 
You're a learner. What did I say? You are a learner. Tell your trauma that it's not professional enough. Why are they one eighteen or not eighteen? Tell your own uncle of beat. Tell him that he has to learn how to play his drums for his beats and not producing good melodies. I cannot even doubt the tune of your music. Tell him that he has to do better. Sir. Tell him that he has to do better. What is Father, look at this. This is ridiculous. That is beyond ridiculous. It is preposterous, Father. Look at this small fry. You think I can come at me, eh? I'll deal with you. <laughs> Abigail, you want him to hand over his company to you? Pay you the sum of 70 million naira and you'll still be you know, in the full custody of the child? Is that what you want? Yes, Your Majesty. I believe that will take care of all my father did for you and all I endured from your son. I want all that as my compensation. What compensation? Lay a robber and shit. I'm going to look at you. Look at this tiny little dragon who just learned how to breathe fire. Suddenly, Abigail, you're challenging your ancestors to a contest of fire. I tell you today, I'm going to kill you. Oh yes, I will take your life. I'm warning you now, call all your lawyers, call your people and tell them to declare that stupid document the law and void. If you stand in my way in becoming the future king of this kingdom, I'll kill you. What a powerful threat. Chukudosi. I hope you have a justifiable reason to present before the law. Sign this document. Or meet me in court. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Father, you know that you are the reason for this embarrassment, Father. It's cause of you, Father. You're a bonny child, fool. Me? You have a lot of growing up to do. The eye appearance of the front of this great kingdom will never act before thinking. Father, what have I done now? You don't know what you have done. You don't know? This is a woman who is so confident to meet you in court. Do you ever think? You're here busy singing a cappella. Now let me tell you, if this girl succeeds, if this is her divorce move, you are likely going to lose the face throne. You blushed? Are you done talking? I'm prepared tomorrow. We're going to meet that lawyer who drafted this document. I'll step into this case to clean up your mess like I've always done. This is quite unacceptable. Let her demand for something else and I'll gladly order my son to oblige. Asking for my son to hand over his establishment to her, pay her the sum of 70 million naira and she still be in the full custody of the child is quite on other days. Your Majesty, I understand for you to have invited me here. This is a very important case to the royal house. With all due respect, sir, there are better ways for you and your son to defend yourself. Hopefully, win the case 
thereby not giving my client anything. So if you're not pleased with my client's demands, sir, as I can clearly tell from your countenance, your majesty, you're welcome to meet me in court. I have heard of your intellectual prowess. I also know that you have never lost a case. It's quite an outstanding record. But do you think that you have all it takes to drag the entire kingdom of Enuan to cut and still be the same record? Actually, I, I knew you were going to go this route. Hence, I tried to simplify this explanation to the barest minimum. I have tried to make sure every party involved in this case comes to a reasonable, peaceful and agreeable conclusion. But I think I will have to play in your big league now, sir. Are you saying that my father, the great king of this kingdom, is unreasonable because he is trying to be lenient to you and your client here? Your Highness, you and I know that if this divorce case goes well, your chances of inheriting your father's throne would be like a journey of a thousand miles with a first frozen step. Hence this pressure and His Majesty inviting me over to the palace. But that aside, Your Majesty, how do you think the people of Inuani and the throne, how do you think they will react when they hear for the first time in courtroom that the first daughter of this kingdom, the princess of this kingdom, is a drug addict. One who steals from her father and brother just to keep up with her supply. That is not all, sir. I wonder what your reaction will be, Your Majesty, when you hear for the first time in court that your daughter is not just a drug addict, a thief, but she's also a murderer. One who murdered a palace maid in this palace. Chica. The little girl who died of poisoning. And up until now, not a single investigation has been established to find out what happened. So if I were you, Your Royal Highness, I would sign this document and strategize on how to work things out with the elders and people of Inuani so as to inherit your father's throne. We are so scared right now. <laughs> We are so scared, we are shaking. <laughs> you must really think that we're stupid. You think that you can come here all suited up to come intimidate us? You must really think that we're part of those low lives that you spew all of this nonsense to. And then they get scared and begin to lick your feet. We're different. I knew you were going to say that. I'm sure I forgot to mention that you are also an accomplice to mother. I am sure you remember the night you told your sister to do whatsoever possible to get your wife, my client, out of the way. Well, she started by killing the one whom she thought was the watchdog, Chica. And every attempt she made to poison my client was abortive because she got it all wrong. And the real watchdog was watching out for my client. 
I know you will say everything I've said here is circumstantial. But I have proof. We have evidence, Your Majesty. Abigail. So you think you can report me after all my warnings? Well, this is the only way to end all these rukus and frekas. girl enjoy yourself because today will be your last day on earth With all due respect, this place is beginning to look like a cemetery and it is getting boring for my liking. Can someone please give us a closing remark so we can disperse? Oh, better still, maybe I should play the part where you told your sister to do whatever possible to get your wife out of the way. Enough! Enough of this already! Your Majesty. Chukudose. Go upstairs, get the document, and sign immediately. Not done right by you. 
please. Forgive me. I promise that if you give us another chance, I'll do right by you. I would love you with all my strength. I'll make you happy. I'll treat you like a queen. I'd love you like a wife. Because you're Malichauma. Wala. You know, it is loss which teaches us the worth of things in life. You had all the time in the world to make amends, but you wasted those times. Now probation is over for you, Prince Chukudozie. Please. Kindly go upstairs, get the document, sign it, or meet me in court. Please. I've ordered you to go upstairs and bring that document for signing, you God's forsaken fool! survive in there without my stuff. You still have the mind to talk about your stuff. No, I'm only saying... You are a disgrace to woman youth and this family at, well, at large. What have I not done for you? I gave you the best life can offer, but you chose to disgrace me and this royal home. You will face the law. I cannot be under the same roof with a murderer and they drug it. And for that, your brother, who is an accomplice to mother, he has already lost the throne. And I am sorry. I know it's difficult, Father. but I must do the right thing. Father. Come on, get out of me. Uh, uh, hello, barrister. Yes, I've already called the commissioner. There is no going back. They must face the real fight of law. I am a law-abiding citizen. The right thing must be done. Thank you. Father, please, I am begging you. Father, please don't do this to me, Father. Will you sh shut up? Shut up! Seriously, Timothy, why are you here? Oh, my bad. This is Abigail. Good afternoon. Hi, Abigail. I'm fine. Um, can I have this? Okay. What's going on? What is it? Please, Becky. 
married. I mean, I, I have given my life a thought countless times and you're the only one that fits into my world. I mean, what greater joy would it be for a man to marry a woman that sees him as a brother? Please, don't say no, I beg you. <laughs> yes, 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 I'll marry you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Greetings, Ma. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Ruth. Your Highness, how did it go? <sighs> Your evidence and this beautiful barista here hmm? made the day. Oh, God. <laughs> As I'm talking to you now, okay. I am now the new CEO of a multimillionaire company. Yes, and also okay. Okay. with 70 million naira compensation. <laughs> oh, yes, girl, we did it. <laughs> yes, we did it. Congrats. <laughs> I wish you guys uh, to see this day. A day she has hoped and prayed for. Auntie, I'm sorry I didn't come to you about the poison before the princess took it to her. I was scared. I was scared for my life. And, and Chica, just because she told you about the princess, she was killed. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyone in your shoes would have done the same. Thank you for saving my life. Thank you, Ma. I owe you. Hello, sir. I, uh, um, sorry, sir. I was in the middle of something. What? <gasps> oh. oh, my God! Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. I'll come by the office later. Okay, sir. Thank you. This is beautiful news. This is a great news. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Guys, guess what? Speed it up. Oh, I'm so happy. The DPO I secretly reported that bastard Kelvin to okay. just called me now that he has been arrested! Ah! <laughs> this is triple celebration! This is good, this is good, this is good. I'm so excited! I'm so happy, I'm so happy. So happy. So happy. Yeah, what are we doing here? This calls for celebration. I, I mean, we should go out and celebrate. Okay. Oh. Let me change into something uh -huh. appropriate. I'm all yours, baby. Mm -hmm. Your oh, yeah. highness, <laughs> are you going to be a <laughs> You have no interest of others. 
at all at all All that matters to you is what you get uh. Only your happiness here uh, is what you want to uh. Only your satisfaction is what you need uh. You are wealthy ship clothing Check us here I got money now Charity begins at home I put a book again, not before you go Put to your house in order Or they make it difficult to Charity begins at home I put a book again, not before you go Put to your house in order Or they make it difficult to Charity begins at home I put a book again, not before you go Put to your house in order I did it difficult to Charity begins at the home I put a book again, not before you go Put to your house in order I did it difficult to mm-hmm.